أعوذ بالله سميع من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله سميع من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هو الله الذي لا عالم الغيب والشهادة هو الرحمن الرحيم هو الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر سبحان الله عما هو الله الخالق البارئ المصور له الأسماء الحسنى يسبح له ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم صدق الله العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I begin in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, the merciful. Ayat number 21. <clears throat> Verily, the hell is awaiting. In the commentary it is mentioned. This means that hell itself is waiting for the infidels. Or the angels of hell. From the first point, it is proven that the hell has discerning power. It recognizes those who are entitled for it from those who are not. In fact... Every animal and inorganic thing in the world has intelligence. They can hear and they can speak. The saints of Allah Almighty understand their speech. The noble companions themselves had heard the weeping and the talking of the pillar of Hanana. From the second point, it is proven that the angels of hell are aware of who would die as an infidel. 
And who as a believer? The knowledge of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam is, is much more than them. Those he too is fully aware of their destiny. From this it is proven that the inmates of paradise and the who's meaning heavenly themselves and the heavenly youth are awaiting the arrival of the believers. As it is stated <coughs> in the hadith that when the wife of the inmate of paradise fights with him, then the who's of paradise proclaim, do not fight with him because he is the guest of paradise by you who will soon be coming to us. Ayat number 22. <laughs> As the destination for the rebellious. In the commentary it is mentioned, it is made from disobedience, meaning transcending the limits Sharia has established. The limits for beliefs and deeds and whoever goes beyond them is a rebel and a transgressor. The one who exceeds the limits in beliefs is an infidel and the one who exceeds the limits in deeds in transgressor. Here the first rebel is denoted i.e. an infidel as can be seen from the next verse. It should be remembered that sometimes exceeding the limits of good deeds is praiseworthy. Sadiq Akbar radiallahu ta'ala anhu gave the entire wealth for the pleasure of Allah Almighty. Also those things on which Allah has not placed limits like praises of the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. An excess in these would not be regarded as transgression. Like the water of the ocean, that the light of the sun, etc. have no limits. Likewise, there is no limitation to the praiseworthy and qualities of the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Ayat number 23. <laughs> to stay therein for ages. In the commentary it is mentioned, the word ahkab is driven from hakab, which means a lengthy period of time. The Arabs would use this word to show the end eternity like it is said in Urdu that paradise would remain for hundreds and thousands of years meaning forever. Or this word shows a period of 70,000 years. A year is made up of 12 months. A month of 30 days. Because ahkab is the plural of hakab. It indicates infinity, reflecting a meaning of something everlasting. Or oh, this word is connected with fire to denote that those transgressors will stay at the hottest place for ages. Then they will be shifted to a cold place. And this transfer would be, would be continuous. In short, this verse does not contra contradict the verse. In the translation, it is mentioned, they will stay therein forever. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مدير
Islamic brothers and viewers of social media, let's recite through the park upon the beloved and blessed Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Alihi Wasallam. As-salatu wa salamu alayki ya Rasulullah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Habib Allah. As-salatu wa salamu alayki ya Nabi Allah. Wa ala alika wa ashabika ya Nur Allah. Excellence of reciting through the park. The believing Muslim who recites three times through the park in the morning with love and devotion and three times in the evening with love and devotion Allah Azza wa Jal will forgive his sins he committed that day Sallu ala al-Habib Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Backbiting is a major sin Sayyidina Ahmad bin Hajjar Makki Shafa'i Rahamallahu ta'ala alayhi has narrated it is stated in the Sahih Hadith backbiting is worse than usury meaning interest if backbiting was submerged into the ocean it would make the whole ocean smell foul on the night of ascension the backbiters were eating the corpse in hell Backbiters were being punished in the grave. Only few of these uh, hadith are sufficient to classify backbiting as a major sin. Those when they are all compiled together, then why should not backbiting be classified as a major sin? So my dear Islamic brothers and viewers of social media, refrain from backbiting. Try to make an intention deep from the heart that inshallah azza wa jal i will stop backbiting and if you have backbitten about someone and he has come to know about your backbiting then you should go up to that person give him a gift and apologize for backbiting behind his back may allah azza wa jal save us from this disease and this is a cancer in our society that we should refrain from backbiting Ameen. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya ilahi rahm farma Mustafa ki wasate Ya Rasool Allah karam ki jiye huda ki wasate Mushkil e hal kar shahe mushkil kusha ki wasate Karbala irad shaheed Karbala ke waasate Sayyid sajjad ke Sadke me sajid rakh mujhe Ilm haq de baakare Ilm huda ke waasate Sidk saadik ka tasadk saadk ul islam kar Begad brazi ho kazim o raza ke waasate Behr maaroof o sari maaroof de behud sari Jund haq me gil junay de basfa ke waasate بہر شبلی شیر حق دنیا کے کتوں سے بچا ایک کا رکھ عبد واحد بیریا کے واسطے بل فرح کا صدقہ کر غم کو فرح دے حسن سعید بل حسن او بو سعید ساد زا کے واسطے قادری کر قادری رکھ قادری یوں میں اٹھا قدر عبد القادر قدرت نما کی واسطے احسن اللہ لہم رزق سیدے رزق حسن بندہ رزاق تاج الاسفیاء کی واسطے نصر دی صالح کا صدقہ صالح و منصور رکھ دے حیات دین محیی جا فضا کے واسطے تور عرفاء و علو و 
الحمد حسن وبا دي علي موسى حسن أحمد بعاكي واسطي بهر إبراهيم مجبر نار غم غزار كان بيك دي داتا بكار بادشاكي واسطي خوانا اي دل کو زیاد روح و ایمان کو جمال شہزیہ مولا جمال الاولیاء کے واسطے دے محمد کے لیے روزی کر احمد کے لیے خوانا فضل اللہ سے حصہ گدا کے واسطے دین دنیا کی مجھے برکات دے برکات سے عشق حق دے عشق عشق انتماء کی واسطے حب اہل بیت دے آل محمد کے لیے کر شہید عشق حمزہ پیشوا کی واسطے دل کو اچھا تن کو سترا جان کو پر نور کر اچھے پیارے شمس دل بدر اولا کے واسطے دو جہاں میں خان میں آل رسول اللہ کر حضرت آل رسول مقتدہ کے واسطے کر اتا احمد رضائی احمد مرسل مجھے میرے مولا حضرت احمد رضا کی واسطے پرزیاں کر میرا چہرہ حشر میں اے کبریاں شہزیاں الدین پیر با صفا کے واسطے احینا فی الدین والدنیا سلام بالسلام قادری عبد السلام خوش ادا کے واسطے عشق احمد میں عطا کر چشم تر سوزے جگر یا ہدا الیاس کو احمد رضا کی واسطے صدقہ الایا کا دے چاعل از علم و عمل افوہ ارفان آفیت اس بے لوا کی واسطے یا اللہ عز و جل Accept this Madani Halqa in your court. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, we've heard the translation of the glorious Qur'an. Any mistakes I have made in my reading, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, forgive me. For those who are listening, who are watching, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, accept this sincere dua and give us true knowledge of Islam. Give us the ability to do, perform good deeds. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, Protect our family's iman, our children's iman. Give them the ability to worship you and to recite the glorious Qur'an. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, give us the preparation of the Akhirah by inviting Islamic brothers towards the masjid, by filling our masajids with worshippers. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, give us true unity, give us muhabba and love with each other. For your sake, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, Many Muslims are suffering, Ya Allah, who are not well, who are having breathing problems. Ya Allah, give them shifa. Protect them this, from this pandemic. Ya Allah, Azza wa Jal, protect the Muslims around the globe from this pandemic. Protect Kashmir, Palestine, Syria, Ya Allah, Iraq, Burma, Yemen. Ya Allah, Azza wa Jal, all these countries that are in tribulation and I in test, Ya Allah, remove this test from them, protect them from the enemies of Islam, raise the flag of Islam, and protect Pakistan. Ya Allah, Azza wa Jal, guide our non-Muslims towards Islam, giving them the ability to pick up the Qur'an, give them the ability to understand Islam, not what the media preserves, Ya Allah, Azza wa Jal, on false and wrong accusations about Islam. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, protect them from the vaccination. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, protect all the human, uh, human population from vaccination. Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, those scientists who are uh, making these vaccines, Ya Allah, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, guide them, 
towards Islam and give them the understanding of the Quran instead of following their opinions and making these uh, vaccines, Ya Allah. Ya Allah Azza protect our Muslim brothers and sisters from haram, give them the ability to earn halal and also those who have become jobless, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, protect them and give them a job. Those who are having problems in the household, quarreling, Ya Allah Azza wa Jal, remove them quarrels and move the anxiety and move the depression in Muslim society. Ya Allah, some Islamic brothers and sisters who have requested for supplication, Ya Allah, for your sake, Ya Allah, grant them shifa, grant them peace, grant them tranquility and give them the ability to worship you. Ya Allah, if there's any mistakes I made in my supplication and in my dars, I ask for forgiveness and give me true knowledge of Islam and give me the capability and the ability to perform more and more good deeds. Enlighten my heart and give us the vision of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya Allah azza wa jalla give Abdul Qadir shifa. Ya Allah and all the muballigeens and muballigat shifa for the sake of Karbala. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli ala sayyidina wa mawlana Muhammad ma'adin al-judi wa al-karami wa alihi wa barik wa sallim. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.